Welcome to Rootstam Gaming. We've got a 2,000 point strong point attack. Colt versus Guard. Okay, so we're actually doing a uh, strong point assault, just to make it a little bit different, allowing, uh, well, basically having guard attacking Gene Steeler Colt. Sounds a bit random and odd, but that's what we're doing today. Purging, from we're purging. Purging, are you purging, everybody? I'm purging. Purging, right, no problem. Uh, purging the Colt. Right, so we're just going to roll the actual mission on camera to make sure that we're not picking the mission to make it more preferable for play. Rolling range. Two. Two. We have got... The standard bunker assault. Okay, this is 2,000 points of Gene Stealer Colt with some Brood Brothers attached. And I've taken a uh, Patriarch uh, with a Primus and an Icon Ward. The Icon Ward will have the relic from a chapter approved set. This section here, the actual uh, Colt, is a battalion. Uh, that one's containing 12 Gene Stealers into single squad, a squad of five uh, hybrids um, on the five hybrids we've got a rock drill and a rock cutter and then we've got a rock saw and some demolitions on the unit of seven the leader for that squad has the bone sword and lash whip we've also got a unit of uh, just near fights there uh, with two mining lasers the guy with the red trousers there he is he's actually my sergeant and of course we've got a rock grinder with a seismic cannon i believe and then we've got a unit of veteran guardsmen. These have got three plasma guns, just a sergeant with a chainsaw. Um, these are all ballistic skill three plus to hit, so that should be quite good with the actual plasma guns. Normally I'd use these in the Steel Legion, but of course you have to have Brood Brothers in these type of games. Two infantry squads. Uh, these are the standard infantry with a rocket and a plasma gun apiece. And then I've got a Manticore, heavy bolter and Manticore missiles. And a destroyer tank hunter uh, from the Forge World set, along with two captains. Uh, now, the guard are actually going to be fielding as a uh, strong point defender uh, organization, which gives me five command points, but I can only spend them on stratagems relating to uh, the strong point game. The battalion, of course, for the Gene Sealer Cult will actually give me five command points to spend on normal stratagems. I've also got two bastions. One armed with four heavy bolters, second bastions armed with four heavy bolters, and the quad auto cannon, and of course just an Aegis defense line with a Laz cannon. Right then, my Imperial Guard list. Let me just quickly bring up Battle Scribe. There's a hell of a lot of men here. It's Imperial Guard, there's always a hell of a lot of men. <laughs> yeah, for, so my strong. I feel, I feel very outnumbered. That's <laughs> cannon fodder though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They're only really sandbags, to be honest. <laughs> Um, so my strong hold assault attacker detachment yep, is made up right. of my Lord Commissar, yep. uh, plasma uh, plasma pistol and power sword, yep. and my Primaris Psyker. Uh, he's got four stave, night shroud, and psychic barrier. Okay. Uh, then we have three infantry squads with missile launcher, plasma gun, and uh, Vox. Can't really. I think all of these are the same. Oh, they are. They are. <laughs> And then I have a platoon commander, a chap in the middle there, with a bolt gun and chain sword. Right, yeah. And then we have two quad heavy launch, uh, quad launchers. Oh, two the back. specials. So they are they are squadroned up, so yeah. they'll be deployed together. And then ones. I have a heavy weapons team with mortars in the centre. Oh, look at that, no more no dirty artillery. And then just to <laughs> push the artillery theme, I've got a manticore. <laughs> Just to push it, yeah, push it out there. Uh, then I've brought a battalion, which is made of my two company commanders. Yep. Uh, my warlord's the chap with the plasma pistol. Oh, right, oh, brilliant. So uh, he's got Kurov's Aquila. Yep. Uh, plasma pistol, the other chap's got a uh, power sword. Yep. The other three infantry guard squads aren't exactly the same. Missile launchers, plasma guns, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Vox. I've uh, got three elites, which are the command squad with the sniper rifles yep, right the and there. a Vox. We then have two squad, uh, two special weapon squads, each armed with three flamers apiece. Oh, tasty. They're going to be living in a Chimera. All oh, right, okay. 
Um, mm. Then we have some heavy support choices, which are... No snipers, then. No snipers. No snipers. <laughs> Not any special weapons, no. Just in the command squads. <laughs> and then we have two heavy weapon squads with las cannons. Yeah. And then uh, Lehman Russ Executioner, which has obviously the Executioner cannon, and yeah. then plasma cannons on the sponsons, and las cannon to the front. A lot of plasma there. Yeah, a lot of plasma. plasma. I have then another Chimera, yeah. which uh, my Inquisitor is going to be living in. There you can see he's got heavy stubber, two heavy flamers, and a hunter killer missile. And he's nearly painted. And it, what do you mean nearly painted? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. That follows and... the standard workshop rules of three colours. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, yeah, and so then to no, finish it off, oh, no. and then no. obviously I've got a Vanguard, oh which is all oh, the others are Cadian. Um, yeah. Vanguard's not Cadian. Okay. And uh, that's made up of an HQ of an Inquisitor. I don't know if Franz already explained. We're kicking Battle Brothers. I thought Inquisitor new. was on the uh, the other one. No. Oh, okay. Now we've got an Inquisitor. Yeah. I thought if we're gonna go purging, we're yeah, gonna yeah, have an Inquisitor. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Purging with plasma. And Gotta then the plasma. three Bulgrins. Yep. A Ministor and Priest with shotgun. Yep. And five Rattlings for a touch more sniper. Yay. And that concludes... Toughness two. And that concludes my list. The Psyker, uh, the, the Inquisitor is a Psyker. Yeah. And he is carrying a four sword. Just so everyone knows, uh, when, ta when Grange actually targets the buildings, his heavy weapons will not have the minus one if he moves. That's one of the rules for strong point attack. But the heavy weapon, my actual bastions, will have plus one when targeting. Uh, so they'll mainly be hitting on fours rather than fives, which can make them quite deadly. Right. I'm kidding. Get... Why on earth would that be moving? <laughs> this is true. But, uh, yeah, okay. So he's probably just going to be ground and pound and just ground the, uh, the bits to dust. Yeah. Also, to with his it. plus one, yeah. he might actually have a chance of hurting something. He might have a chance of hurting something, to be honest. Or hitting something, at least. Because he didn't do very well last time around. But no, let's go to the deployment of the table and we'll take you straight to it. So, after deployment, you can probably see there's a large line of Imperial Guard actually uh, arrayed against the Gene Steeler Colts defences. And we've got a nice Aegis defence line with nobody really behind it. <laughs> but it's probably just in case for when the bunkers do fall. Um, we've decided with the rocky terrain um, that the rocks themselves will give you a cover save because it's supposed to be rocky, it's not supposed to be flat. We'll just make it that way because it's easier to put the figures on. Uh, but we're going to save our infantry. Uh, tanks can get over the small pieces, such as this one that's only about an inch high with no penalty. Infantry have to sort of an inch up and then over. Uh, the larger bits, again, infantry is going to have to use its movement to be able to climb up them. But vehicles are not going to be able to go across. Uh, so there's quite a lot of uh, terrain here where some of the tanks can be funneled into certain areas. I've got a destroyer tank hunter down here, uh, which can see not a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> in the mission, uh, the defender has to actually deploy first, so Grange has had the ability to be able to make sure that he can set up units that I can't see. Uh, I do have a large portion of the Gene Stealer Colt in reserve. And of course, even with the beta test rules for the deep striking units, I call it deep strike because that's pretty much what it is. Um, uh, it does allow me to set up outside of my deployment zone in the first turn because I am Gene Stealer Colt. Uh, their army is actually been exempt from the rule where you can't have deep strikes out of your own deployment zone in turn one. There's going to be a hell of a lot of tea going to consumed on this, and we're going to now roll the dice to see who gets first turn. Uh, just a side note as well regarding command points. Both of us have five command points um, to spend on, on certain stratagems from the actual strong point attack mission, uh, which hopefully I should be able to put up a, uh, a picture regarding those. And also I've got eight command points because we, again we're using the new, I've got a battalion which now gives you five command points, not three. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Why have you got even more command yeah, points now? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, right. Okay, so Granger's got nine basic, and he's got uh, he's got nine basic and five for his uh, attacker, and I've got five for my defender, and I've got eight basic. So we're going to be able to churn through a lot of command points. We'll be keeping an update on the scores on the mission. 
he has to be able to uh, destroy the bunkers. He gets three points per bunker, one point per unit destroyed. I get one point per unit destroyed and three points for every bunker that survives. If the bunker, well, I'm saying bunkers, a strong point of the fortifications. If they survive with at least 15 wounds or more, I get six points per fortification. That's still standing. Uh, we do get a plumbing bombardment free per turn as well for being the defender, which is allocated to a certain bunker, which is going to be this one. And I think I'm going to use two command points straight away to fortify that particular bunker, uh, which I believe pluses one to its saving throws. But in these type of missions, I think you kind of need to, especially when you're going against a hell of a lot of heavy weapons in the form of uh, Imperial Guard. Have you got any command points you wanted to use to start the game with? Yes, I have. Okay, yeah. From the strong point attack, I'm going to be using, I think it's the primarily bombardment. Bombardment, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to be taking that from strong point. Yeah. Can I use that in another stratagem from the Cadian book? Yes, yeah, you'll be able to use it. Primarily bombardment again. Oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say the word as well. Primarily, maybe. Primarily. And he's, yeah. he's, not, he's only drinking tea this morning. Yes. That's, he's not drinking his usual beer. Um, so yes, yeah, so... So that's from K uh, the Imperial Guard. So that's from the Imperial Guard. He's using two command points from that, and he's also using command points from the book to basically do two bombards upon my units. So I think we're going to resolve that, and then we'll come back to see the devastation that it's caused. So after we've resolved Granger's Plumbing Bombardment and finding out that the Plumbing Bombardment in the Strong Point Attack uh, does D3 mortal wounds, and the one from the guard book does a straightforward single mortal wound. Yeah, he's, he's smirking here. Yeah. <laughs> he rolled a flurry of ones, I'll be honest, yeah. and uh, managed to not hit a hell of a lot. It did cause a wound of damage on this, knocking it down to 10. I'm just going to use a D10 for that. He did kill one of these guys. One of these guys is gone. Uh, but no morale test because you know I'm going to be at least leadership 7 and then he knocked 3 wounds off my rugged constructor goliath tank uh, so he managed to he did, did do a little bit but didn't manage to do a hell of a lot of damage to any of the guys inside the actual bunkers uh, and now we're going to go uh, we're going to basically just have a look to see who's going to go first so important dice roll here I'm going to roll a d6 on a 1 to 3 the attacker goes first on a four to six, it's the defender. We have a five, so it's the defender that's going to be going first. I'm going to do my movement, and we'll be back to you at the beginning of the shooting phase for turn one. Okay, so after setup, we've got a lovely bunch of Gene Steelers with a Primus, and the Patriarch with an Icon Ward, which has the relic, which gives them plus one strength. Quite close to Granger's lines to start with. Hopefully, I've brought in my entire army from reserve, and then the rest of them have appeared on this flank here, uh, in the wake of the uh, the Goliath vehicle. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to get a lot of guys in and try and disrupt his lines as best as I possibly can. Because uh, if I don't, I'm going to get screwed by some heavy firepower. Right, so let's start selecting some units. Let's get some shooting done. I've also, just to make you guys aware as well, used a command point during my deployment to allow two dice to be rolled for the actual uh, Patriarch to make sure that he's going to be quite close to the enemy. Still roll rubbish. But, <laughs> but at least he's nine inch away with a tree to go through. Yippee. <laughs> right. Right, let's select some units and get some firing done. Okay, so first unit I'm going to fire. I'm going to fire my Manticore. It's going to be going down into the closest one of these artillery pieces because I've come across these before and I hate them. Don't I, Grange? You're not very fond. No, I'm not. Not at all. 2d6 shots. <laughs> three. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a great start. So, three shots. One hit. Oh, Christ. Uh, what's its toughness? Uh, for that, is, I believe it's seven. Okay, so after checking, uh, yeah, it is seven, it is correct, after a vague, I am not sure. So, uh, I need a three to be able to hurt it. Where's my dice gone? Oh, it's a five. So it's definitely hurt. Um, so it's just going to be, it's a minus, minus two. two on one, Manty course. I think one of the infantry is going to be dead, isn't it? Unless you take it on the, uh, the weapon. No, the closest that will be the uh, gun. Right, okay, no problem. It's on the gun. Right, so it's D3 damage on the gun. 
I got a six. I've <gasps> got three damage on the gun. Leaves it only six, uh, three left. Three points left. If I'd have got more shots on that damn thing, it would have been gone. Okay, so last cannon within an inch. Gonna fire over there at that manticore. Let's see if I can destroy his manticore before he reprises. Oh, it's hit. Normally it would need a six, but because of course it's defenses and I'm playing strong point, I get a plus one. Um, against the manticore, I'm gonna need a three. Oh, it's wounded. Now, from this point, he is touching the wall. And from this point, it would be, I would say the whole of the actual vehicle will be partially obscured. So we would give him a plus one save on that. Here we go. Hey, D6 damage. Right, for prosperity, let's have a look at that. That's three pretty much good dice rolls in a row. That's three this six. doesn't happen. This doesn't happen to me, Grange. <laughs> doesn't happen to me either. If you, if you see, if I zoom in on his face, you can see him going redder and redder already. Look oh. at that. <laughs> I told you that Manticores are massively underwhelming. <laughs> Yeah, happen. yeah, my mine did fantastic. I'll be honest with you, my friend, it did amazing. And yours, hopefully, I think it's down to about five, five wounds. Is that hindered as well? It probably will be at this so point. So he's been gimped. Damn it, gimp vehicle. There you go, mate. You can use that to represent the gimpiness of the actual tank. Okay, next we're going to have a bunker, which has got a unit inside. It's got another tactical squad. That's going to open fire at Granger's at uh, Granger's scouts over there, the uh, rattlings. Now, what do we have any special rules to hit rattlings at all? No. No. So it's just going to be twelve just shots, it. needing fours again because of a strong point. I am plusing one. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. We've got about that many hits, and I need twos to wound because they're only toughness two of rattlings. That's pretty much all of them except one. So that's going to be six wounds. And here's Granger's saves. He does get plus two because his class is in cover. So, uh, it's minus one though as well. So that's fives. Is it yep. fives? Yeah, because it's only six up. So two six. saves, four them. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so next unit then is going to be the seismic cannon for my Goliath. It's going to target this infantry squad over here. We've got four shots because of the range, because I'm not within 12. Um, so I'm going to need five stick because I'm moved. Ooh, oh, sweet. Three of them. <laughs> I'm doing well, I'm doing well. If I'm at club, I'd have rubbish. And you can see Granger's just not interested in this game straight off. Uh, it's going to be one of them. Uh, freeze to wound. Ah, <laughs> nothing. Oh, lovely laugh. Thank you very much, man. Ear, <laughs> ear splintering, ear splintering. The guards survive the seismic attack. Uh, let's have a look what else I can fire. Rather blind. Rather blind, yeah. Uh, right, okay, so the bunker. Uh, I'm going to be firing the quad. Cannons, but I'm also going to fire the, heavy, the missile launcher that's actually with the squad inside. Both of them are going to go against the Chimera, so I'm going to roll them all together. So I've got blues for the actual bunker, black is for the guys inside. I need fives on the blue and four on the black. Oh. And I need uh, fours to wound with the blue because it's not okay. One. Minus one. Oh, oh. So it has gone through. It's only two damage though. Um, so. Chimera's going to have gone down a little tiny bit. Okay, so we've got some more heavy balls from this bunker. That's going to fire down at this last cannon team down here. Uh, it's going to need fours to hit. Okay, this many hits. I'm going to need freeze. Ooh, that's going to be five saves, Grange. Plus one, minus one, because he's in cover. It means he's going to need a five to be able to save these. Whoa, that's Two going to be... Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I forgot. I'm thinking the three wounds apiece. Oh. Not bad. Not bad shooting from the automated Grat defenses. Rocket now from the bunker. We can just have a look and you can just see that wounded artillery piece. Green just trying to hide them pretty well. He's doing well for it, but uh, I managed to be able to get some shots off. So, fours. <sighs> Underwhelming. Okay, so the uh, yeah, this guy here is actually going to try and finish off the last cannon team over there. It is D3 shots. Two, uh, I'm going to need fours to hit. Roll that one again. So that's one hit. It's going to need twos to wound because it's strength nine and it fails. Mm. Uh, so the command point, go on. <laughs> yep, it's a wounding hit. Uh, I don't think you'll get a save on this because you're plus one, but it's minus three. So it's basically like a last cannon. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Uh, well, it's D6 oh. damage. Watch we get a one again. Oh no, six damage. Yeah, so thankfully I've got rid of the last cannon team. 
But I am now down to six command points. Oh. Oh, she's going to see if you can steal a command point. I forgot. Oh, I can't, yeah. oh Christ's sake. How many have you gone up to now? I've gone up to ten. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking good for command point wise for me. Okay, so the Gene Stealer Colt is going to try and the Gene Stealer Colt is Gene Stealers here. I'm going to try and lock down this Lehman Russ. And if I put that there, as you can see, it's going to need about a six to get within an inch. But it's got a hell of a lot of firepower coming my way. Yeah. Oh, what's it called? Defensive gunner. Oh, so he's using a stratagem for once. <laughs> How many points? Just one. Just the, um, it gives you a just five, one. Yeah, five or six now is going to be on uh, on his actual uh, on his Overwatch, which will come. We'll roll that. We'll roll to see how many shots he's going to get, and then we'll roll that and come back to and it. That's how many shots for the execution at Cannon. And the two uh, sponsons. Yep. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Well, they were ready for Virginia Steel the Cup coming down, weren't they? 12 Overwatch plasma shots into the Gene Steelers needing fives and sixes. I'm not overcharging. Oh, but I didn't think you would be. Oh, thankfully, only two. Oh, no, no three, because it's fives three. and sixes. Yeah. Three of them there. Uh, these are going to need threes, because it's strength for seven versus toughness four. Two. So two Gene Steelers are being murderized. Fives to save, because I've got a five plus invulnerable. I only lose one, but there's a last cannon coming as well. Oh, so I've lost a gene stealer. Get rid of this one. There we are. And it's going to need at least a six. Oh, and it's a seven. Okay, so the gene stealer patriarch is going to barrel into this infantry squad up here. Oh, We've got nine las gun shots coming across. Fun, nothing. Oh, nothing, nothing. He's going to fire the plasma. Are you overcharging the plasma, Greg? I will be overcharging the plasma. Yeah, he's overcharging the plasma. There we go. Oh, he gets a hit with the overcharged plasma, and uh, I can't remember what he's took. Oh, it will be a wound it on that. It will be a wound on that. I'll look at it. It's a five plus invulnerable save. Same as the other guys. No, she so takes two damage. And then the crack rocket. Oh, thank God for that. Right, let's see if we can get in. I'm going to need a nine because I have to set up nine inches, more than nine inches away. Oh. And a 10. He's barreling over this side. We did the shooting for these guys, but there was no effect. I'm going to actually have the uh, yeah, the near fights that are going to charge into that nearest infantry squad. Let's see if they survive. It's going to be quite difficult because it's an inch to get down on those. So I'm probably going to need a 12, but I need to be able to get into stuff. So I'm going to attempt it and we'll do the overwatch. Okay, last gun shots of watching. Nada. No thing. Um, Plasma. Plasma, not yeah. overcharging. Nothing. No. And then D6 shots from his frag rocket. Two. Two. Oh, oh! Two hits. Toughness? Three. Well, it's three to one with toughness three. Ah, there we Ah, go. okay. <laughs> right. Again, I need a nine or more to be able to get in. No, not oh. this time. Not even worth command pointing that. That's a three. I know these dice are not the greatest, to be honest with you, on the camera. Uh, but that's a, a one and a two. Right, so that's the end of charging. Uh, let's go into the assault actual, uh, the actual. Okay, so going with the Patriarch first, that's six attacks needing twos. Only four. And I'll need twos again to wound. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's going to be four dead grains because it's a minus three normal, even the six is a minus six. So. Yeah. Yeah, not a lot left there. Okay, so Gene Steelers is not interrupting. We've got eight that's within this particular Lehman Russ. I've got my dice here, because I've got four attacks apiece with 11 still being within the squad. And they are within six of this Icon Lord. So I'm gonna need freeze to hit. That's a lot. Okay, just roll for the wounding. I'm gonna need fives to wound. Any sixes are going to be minus four. So I've got three sixes, uh, they're just going to basically just cause three points of damage, and then he's got five saves to make with a minus one. Well, I do want to roll that to yeah, top over again. Yeah. So Ooh, three more. So that's going to be a total of six wounds off the Lehman Rust battle tank. I think that leaves it down to either seven or twelve. Seven or twelve? What am I talking about? Seven or twelve. All right. Me? Math, me. <laughs> That's in Fan good. Fan good number. Fan good number, yes. After checking the book and the fact that Granger's misses as an accountant, uh, I stand at six. Six <laughs> points. <laughs> Had to be done. Right, okay. 
So that's the end of that turn. I'm not really going to be able to consolidate any... Oh, no. Actually, sorry. I do apologise. We have this squad fighting back. I'm having you. I, I bet you're trying to sodomise the actual Patriarch. Okay, so eight attacks back coming out the Patriarch. Needing fours. Impressive. Yeah, it's not too bad. They are a bit scared. And then they're going to need fives to wound. Ah, that's... Nah. Yeah, impressive. Not, not <laughs> impressive. He's guard, mate. He's guard. It's what they do. They're designed to die. Right, so basically at the end of turn one, we've got some gene stealers in his left flank. We've got some gene stealers threatening his right flank. I've just done that the wrong way around because I'm left and right. And this is opposite. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll get it right eventually. We've got a couple of morale to do, uh, which we pro probably do now. I mean, what's their leadership? Low. <laughs> okay, back, back to my book. So their leadership is five. So if he gets a one, it ain't running away. Come on, Granger's usual crappy dice rolls. Oh, oh. the complete opposite of what he needed. Yeah, there we go. So that's gone. And then we've got a guy, the unit over here, they've lost four. So their leadership seven. And <laughs> one. So you get the one from that side, and nobody decides to run off from this unit. Um, but the scout, I, I think that's just. Is, doesn't that happen to them all the time? Yes. Yeah, I don't think they've survived they've, the game. They've, so they've not survived a turn one yet. No, no, I don't think they've survived the turn one. Uh, right, okay. So we're going to do Granger's movement for his uh, guard turn one. And uh, we'll show you the positions when we come back. Okay, so Granger's done his movement. We've got a couple of units backing out of combat here. A bit silly for them to stay in combat, to be honest. Since, of course, Gene Sealers don't really have any Overwatch by it. Uh, Chimera's... Uh, Barreled out its units, so we've got a Primus Psycho, we've got the Inquisitor, Commissar, and of course, nasty, nasty Bulgrins over there with some 4 plus invulnerable saves. Good choice, by the way, my <laughs> friend, to uh, to go against the Gene Sealers there with some invulnerable saves, negates a lot of that. Minus 1 and minus 4 that we can have. Um, yep, yeah, Katamira rolling forward. If it starts shooting at some of my bunkers, it's not going to have a minus to its weapons. So infantry's ploughed forward to try and take the place of the Fallen Snipers. And some more infantry trying to take advantage of this line of sight blocking piece of terrain. Uh, no real movement over here. They're kind of just going to try and weather the storm of the actual Gene Stealer cult as they come barreling over the uh, the hill. Right. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so Grange's psychic phase. Majority of the psychics, of course, all at this side. So, what are you doing first here, Grange? Um, I'm going to be technical and go for smite, smite. against the Gene Stealers. Smite against the Gene Stealers. So right, we're going to okay. start with uh, my Primus Psycho who was here. Oh, okay, and we are doing the uh, the new Smite rules, so any further Smites are going to be minuses. That's a five, so he's cast it. I'm very tempted to try and nullify, because it's quite a low roll with my, even though it's his first attempt, I'm, I'm very tempted to nullify that. So I'm going to try with my Patriarch to stop that from happening. Four, five, six, seven. Yes, so he's going to stop the first one. It's not going to be able to stop anymore because he can only stop one a turn. And then we'll go with the uh, Inquisitor. So this is a minus one to the actual... It's not a minus one to the dice. It just basically means that it needs a six. But if he still gets an 11 or 12, he's still going to be D6 according to the new rules. And we're Five, okay. six, seven, yeah. So mortal wounds. So D3 mortal wounds. That's one gone. Any more smite coming that their is way? That is it. That is right, as much smite no as I have. I keep thinking that that priest down there is actually a psych on his no. not. Right, so one killed by the psychic fairy. Right, okay, so Grange is going to do, he's doing some orders from his captain over here using some boxes. Give this guy his take aim. We're going to open fire on these, this unit here, this near fights. That's nine last guns coming in. Now they get to re-roll hits because they're Canadian, or Canadian, as Grange likes to state, and allowing them to re-roll the dice if they stand still and use that order. Yes, that's not so bad. We're going to need fours to wound. Okay. And that's going to be four of them. Four saves because that counts as cover. These are going to be four plus because no minus for last guns. And that's going to be one down. So okay, so overcharge. Is it overcharge plasma? That will be overcharge, yeah. yes. Mm, definitely. Best, got, yeah, yeah, re roll. <laughs> still right, missed. Still but missed, but it didn't blow up. So it's a hit. It's going to need a two. <gasps> and that's going to be a minus three. That's going to be one annihilator. Do you want to do your rocket as well? Yep. So D6 frag. shots. So two shots. Two. Do you want to command point that? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, re-roll that one. Yeah, re-roll that one because of your order. Still only one. And then... Wounded. Wounded. I'm going to need a four up. 
No, so I lose another guy, so that's two more gone from that. Right, okay, so I've lost three guys out of that squad. He's now going to take aim on this artillery piece, the wounded one. They're going to try and pound the crap out of these guys. That's 4d6 shots. Because they're Canadian, uh, they get a re-roll to hit as well, and that's going to be 13 dice. Okay, so 13 dice coming in, needing fours with re-rolls. Oh, that's going to be ash. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that looked a lot worse than what it actually was. That. 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 Oh, that's going to hurt. What's strength for this? Five. It's going to be freeze. Any minus? No. I'm going to need fours myself. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's really, really going to hurt. So that many? Seven. Seven wounds. Right, so seven wounds to save, gonna need fours. Lost three, yeah, lost three of them. Ah, oh, damn it. Right, okay, so rinse and repeat, he's gonna take aim with the other, you, uh, the other one, trying to finish off the actual uh, the hybrids, he doesn't like them. And again, another volley of fire coming into these guys. That's gonna be what, five, six, seven, 18 shots. Okay, so 18 shots coming in, needing fours, and with rerolls, so this is, should be a lot of hits. Oh, it's not looking good for me. I think that's the noise that they're making as well. <laughs> as this artillery comes pounding in. We'll come back to that. So that's 13 hits in total. In threes. Oh, uh -huh. Another one stuck to his hand. Oh, it's only 11. Oh, I think this is going to be a dead squad. 11 saves to make. Four pluses. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. There's not even five guys left. That's just wiped out. Okay, so Granger's last order is with this captain down here. His last cannon's taking aim. Ah, you guessed it. It's going to be at the fortified bunker. So this is on a two plus save. Thank God well, for thank Canadians. God for Canadians. <laughs> That's two hits. He is going to need force to wound because he had toughness nine. They're quite, quite difficult to bring down these guys. Uh, nothing. Ah, nothing. Any command points? Uh, not at this point, no. Not at this point. He's not spending any command points. The bunker survives unscathed, and I've just remembered I completely forgot to do my artillery bombardment, my special bombardment that I get. <laughs> <laughs> this, this game's just going to be a lot of forgetting stuff because we don't normally play a strong point. So, yeah, it's a brilliant idea to record a strong point, friend, while we're actually uh, trying to record. That's fantastic. Right, okay. Uh, let's go into the Granger's next year. Okay, so the mortars here are going to try and finish off these near fights. He's got 13 hits. Well, 13 shots. He hasn't rolled any hits yet. These are going to be the hits. No orders, though, so he's just forced to hit and re roll ones because he's Canadian. That's a crap Canadian accent. Yeah. I'll re roll that, Kinker. Uh, yeah. Missed it. Missed it. This is going to be to damage. I'll re roll that, Kinker. Latin. It's still going to be a lot, actually. It's going to be another. Five. Five. Five to save. Oh, they're oh. all saved. That's not bad. Surprise on Granger's face. Always oh, looks happy. Okay, so Chimera's opening fire. We've got two flamers coming into my Gene Steelers. Uh, we've got Heavy Stubber coming into my Gene Steelers. And we've also got HK. We're all the way down here because he doesn't have the minus one to move and fire with the heavy weapons and targets in the building. Which one do you want to do first, Granger? What's that with the HKM? HKM. Fours. Oh, it's a hit. Now, it is toughness nine, so he's going to need a five on these. Fives. Oh, it's wounded. Uh, HKM is a standard crap rocket, so it's going to be a minus two. I'm on a two plus because I fortified that one. Um, so that's going to be a four to save. No. Impact on the HKM. How much damage have we got? <gasps> three. A three. That's going to take that down to 17 wounds. Two of Two of yep. flamers. Two yep. flamers. Here we go. For three shots. <laughs> Any grand points, Grange? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm going to command point. Yeah, I, I will command point back as well. I'm gonna... Do you get your command point back? Oh, good point. Of course. Hey, so I'm back up to nine. Back up to nine. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm going to re roll that one. Yep, re roll the one. And turn it into a six. Six. So he's going to have eight flamer hits. That was actually worth it. Normally, it doesn't work like that. Normally, he rolls another one. Okay, so eight flamer automatic hits. He's going to need force to wound. Oh. Heavy flamer. It's fine. Oh, heavy flamer. Yes, it would be freeze. Apologies. That's all right. Um, I need as much help as I can get. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. With only five <laughs> wounds. 
five wounds on the Jane Steeler. Jane Steeler is a five plus invulnerable. Oh, lost three of them. Heavy enough stubborn now coming in. One hit. Uh, yeah, because it's a heavy weapon. It shifted. Yeah, it's not very good, really. And that's very cocked. <laughs> yeah. And that is. And that bounces off the armored carapace of the Gene Steelers, possibly using the uh, the ones that have melted to be able to uh, <laughs> protect themselves. And it, what's next, Grinch? All right, I'm going to fire a last pistol from my psyche. Oh, the, okay, uh, okay. Go on that? then. That's, Maybe not in I'm there. Not, I'm <laughs> stop throwing dice into the trees. <laughs> Uh, I believe that's a hit, actually, from the Psyker. Yeah, I think he's freeze. Okay, we'll check. What does it say? Three. It three. says a free! He oh, has hit. Trust the Fran. He's going to need a five, though, because it's only a Lars weapon. No. No. So all that wasting of time for nothing. It wasn't right. wasted time, it was character building. Character building, yeah. All right, the plasma pistol, then. Plasma pistol. Now, this one might actually hurt. I'm guessing he's not overcharged. He's not overcharged. No, no. Hits. So that's a hit. He's going to need a free. Wounds. Yeah, he does. I'm going to need a five. <laughs> yeah! So, yeah, that bounces off my... Uh, it doesn't bounce off anything. I actually dodge out of a way of it. I expertly go wiggle, wiggle, and I'm all good. Next then, Grange. That's an image I've just never want to hear or see again. <laughs> <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Shot, shotgun from the priest. He's within short range as well with that shotgun. So that's two six. shots. It is two shots, but I think he's increases his strength. To four, isn't it? Yeah. That's both hit. Do you trust me? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's trusting me this time. That's one mm -hmm. wound. Oh, another one gone. Another one back. Uh, that one. Thanks for dust. And now the inquisitorial bolt pistol into the Gene Steelers. Hits. Oh, yes, it does. Wounds. Wounds. Five plus. Actually, four plus, actually, because we're in cover and we've got a five plus. Um, but I've not won any four so far, so that's another one down. I think that takes them up to six casualties. So Commissar down here is going to fire into the Primus. I'm not going to get a save on this. Is he overcharging? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, are you sure? Positive. Okay. Uh, yeah, he... Commissar Lord. So Commissar that's... Lord, so he has hit on that one. But not wounded. Oh, hey! And he can't use command point. He's already used a reroll this turn. Anything else? Oh, many things. So, we've got this unit here, the infantry. He's going to be firing again at the gene steals. He really doesn't like them. Uh, plasma gun going first. Not overcharging. Coward. Coward. Right into the cockage. Miss. It's a good job he didn't overcharge. Otherwise, he'd be Easy. a burnt, crisp cinder. Yep. Yeah, this moment in time. A collection of las guns. Collection of las guns. Needing fours, uh, and he did move, so he doesn't get to re-roll any of the ones if he did roll any ones. There's a four there as well, right? No. Need all the help I can get. It's uh, going to be a lot. Nothing, because you need Nothing. fives. Nine. And then we've got a fragmentation rocket. Firing four times. I didn't say the word missile. So, you know. and it's going to need fives to hit because he moved. One hit. Got one hit. Fours to wound. One wound. Oh, dear me. Well, uh, oh, what about you? Yeah. <laughs> There you Six, go. right, okay, so it's saved. Need to make sure we're not, uh, these little pebbles are lovely. Uh, right, so we've got the three snipers over there. We've got two snipers that can see the gene stealers down here, so we're going to fire at them. And then the other sniper's going to fire at the infantry down here. Which one do you want to do first, there, Grinch? One of the gene stealers. Gene stealers. I'll use my Canadian roll. Hey, Canadian. Nope. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to need fours, but any sixes will cause a mortal wound as well. So it's, here's one wound on the Gene Steelers. Going to need a five. No, that's one of the Gene Steelers down. And uh, yeah, we'll take it away from the closest. And then into the... Uh, yep. Into the squad. So hit. You needed that to wound, really. No. No, no wounds on that, and he doesn't get to reroll the ones for wounding for being Canadian. So they're going to be now on minus seven for morale. That's going to be quite harsh, unless I'm within six of that guy. Might not be, but we'll check that when it comes. So crack rocket from this infantry squad over here at the actual rock grinder. The squad moved, but the rocket didn't, so he's hitting on fours. Canadian. Ooh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Do I get that because the squad has moved? That's... I'm, I'm going to say no, I don't get the reroll. Because I think point. it's the unit. I think it is the unit. It's you want to double, let's double check. Let's double check. So after having checked, we found out that it is for the unit. So if the rest of the unit would have stayed still, he would have actually got a reroll on one. But because they moved, he doesn't. 
So I'm guessing we might have another rocket coming from the other team there. Yeah, so this team's going to do exactly the same. Are you within range with your LAS guns as well? I'm just going to have a quick look. Oh, the plasma is. And I'll see how many LAS guns I've got in oh. visibility of that squad as well. Right, no problem. First. Right, okay, so only one of these guys could see the near fights. So it's one LAS gun shot at the near fights. Hit. It's a hit. He's going to need that. He needs That's that. Uh, I need a four to save. Yep, so that's three sixes. Number of the beast coming out there. That unit's doing well. Right, okay. And then we've got the two other two las guns, guns into the rugged construction of this one. Uh, hits. Two hits. His toughness is seven, so he's going to need sixes. Nothing. No. And the uh, plasma. Not overcharging? Or overcharging? Uh, no, I've shifted, so I will not okay, be overcharging. No. It's a hit. It's going to need falls. No. No, it bounces off. And then a crack rocket. Crack rocket. That's five. Roll that again. <laughs> no. No, just missed. So the Gene Stealer tank is surviving. Uh, what we got left? This unit down here. The unit down there. Uh, we'll targeting the same thing. It will be targeting exactly the same. So the missile launcher and then a plasma. All the last guns. All the last guns that can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say all of them, yeah. I'd say I'll be honest with you, Grinch. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, which one do you want to do first? Uh, we'll do the plasma first. Yep. Not Go overcharging. No, okay. Hits. Hits. Wounds. It wounds, and I don't get my standard save against that, but I do get rugged, rugged construction, so on a six, I ignore it. No. No. That's taking the damage. Missile launcher. Okay, yep. Yeah. Missile, Hits. he said it. Missile. Hits. There Hits. we go. Hits. Missile. Missile. <laughs> Hits. Oh, Hits. It's going to need a three. Three, one, and four. I'm going to need a six to save normally. No, so it's D6 damage. Five. Five. Marvellous. Uh, rugged construction. Ignore one of them, so it's taking another four wounds. That means this one's down to two. Oh, he's taking some hammer, and there's a squad inside. And six last guns left. Is four hits. Four hits, and he gets to reroll that one as well because he's oh. still. No, I didn't. These guys will fall. Oh, those guys yeah. will fall. Up, so. uh, Nini sixes. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it's taking some damage now. Right. And he's dropping some damage. Okay, so Chimera now opening up with its heavy bolter and its multi laser into this guy. It's going to basically be six shots needing fours to. Oh, is it moved? No, it's not shifted. Not shifted. So it's going to need fours to hit and fives to wound. So you might as well roll them all together there, Grinch. Oh, actually, there's no. Modifiers. Yeah, there is yeah. modifiers. I've just, oh. <laughs> just remembered. <laughs> Thinking of old 7th edition where you didn't need to think about such things on that one there. So, heavy bolters go first. Heavy bolter. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, multi laser. Multi laser. Uh, one. one. Doing very well, the camera over there. And nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, no wounds. Needing a five would be toughness of seven. Okay, so finally, he's going to go with his gimped manticore heavy bolter. I'm guessing he's going to go first into these guys. It is. So, hit on fives. Hit on fives, re rolling ones. So, I've hit twice, re rolling oh, that one. Lovely. We should gimp this more often. Oh, man. There we go. And wounding. Two wounds. Two wounds. A minus need... one. Yeah, it's just fives because it's gene stealers. I got a one and a three. I've lost two of them, buggers. <sighs> And then 2d6 shots against the Goliath Rock Grinder is going to try and take it out. 5, 6, and 8. Oh, he gets a lot better than I did. <laughs> Rerolling ones. Yep. Still gets 3 hits. 3 hits. So strength 10 against toughness 7, so he's going to need 3s to wound. Oh, 2 wounds. Unfortunately. On that, with it being a minus four, it's six to nope. save. So it's minus two for Manny Call myself. I meant to say it was a four plus armor. Nope, that's two that's gone through. This is going to be 2d3 worth of damage. It's going to be four. four. I'm going to need at least, no, I'm going to need number of the beast to keep this vehicle alive. No. no. I'll check to see whether it explodes. I'm not sure if it does actually. Nope. And uh, I've got five men on board. Oh. One of them die as well. No, I'll keep. So at the end of a shooting phase, there, Granger's managed to pull himself back up with two VPs due to the amounts of casualties he's caused. We're going to go on to some charge phases. I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of Overwatch down here because these Ogrins, by the looks of it, are going to be barreling in. 
to my guys. Is that what you're doing first? Yeah, straight in with the Straight in with the Ogrins. 2d6 charge. It's a 6. I believe, because we've got the awesome, awesome measurers. Yeah, well in, well in. This is what the uh, movement looks like afterwards. Apparently he's going uh, testicles deep on a... Uh, yeah, a couple of cells going to go in. Okay, needle pistol. Oh, it hits! I've completely forgotten what strength Okay, so twos to wound with a needle pistol. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now, come on, Never mind. Then. No, 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 because you've got a minus two to get up that little, little hill to be able to get to me. So I'm hoping you fluff this. So it's going to be a three inch, a, effectively a three inch diagonal movement. So after checking that, uh, Grange is not within range. I'm guessing he's going to re-roll this two. I'm going to roll that two with a command point. So he's on a three. He's going to need at least another range. There yeah, that's going to be And I'll see if I get that command point back. Oh, yeah. Yes. Every time. Every time. Right, okay, so we're going to go with your, well, it's going to go with your grins first before I try and use two command points and try and murder them if I possibly can. Uh, he's got three attacks apiece plus one for the boneheads, that's four attacks, but he's also got avalanche and muscle, which plus is another attack, and he's within six of that priest. So he's got war hymns. So he's got a crap load of dice to actually roll here. Um, needing freeze? Yep. Yeah. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Okay, so freeze to wound, strength seven with his batons. Oof. I think there's going to be some dead gene stealers. Three, four, five, six, that's eight. Eight saves a five plus. Three attacks from the Commissar Lord into the Pride Mess. I am not, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to interrupt. He's going to need twos to hit. Yes. He needs fours to wound. Mm. He will. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. Ooh, two wounds off him. Okay, so Pride Mess is going to be fighting back. He needs twos to hit, he's got four attacks. I'm gonna go with the injection cord, because there's no point going with the bone sword, because he's actually got a five plus and vulnerable save. So, there we go, that's all hit. I need twos to wound. That's three wounds with a minus one. The five so, ups. None of them. Oh, so three wounds on the commissar. Takes him down to, I believe, either one or two. Right, so that's the end of Granger's turn. We've got a bit of morale to do over there. Um, the uh, dice gods are saying we're going to chuck dice all over the floor. Uh, so they've lost three. They've got a leadership of eight. Uh, four, five, six, seven. So I'm actually okay. Uh, no other morale to take because he's murdered out the gene stealers. So we're going to go into my turn two. Right, okay, so psychic phase, this is after the movement phase. Uh, Gene Stealer, uh, Patriarchs run across that side, mainly to try and get into that tank. I've got to try and stop as much firing into these as I possibly can. The Colt down there, the four that got out of the tank, they've actually used a command point and gone back into uh, reserve. And then the actual Colt members themselves have actually gone across to try and target this line. I'm going to try and stop some mortars from occurring. Uh, not a lot of movement for my guys because I'm primarily just trying to hold out these uh, these actual objectives. So I'm going to start with mass hypnosis onto that unit. I need a seven, and I roll an eight. And it does have a cycle within twenty, at least well two cycles within mm, twenty four. He's going to try and deny it. No, oh, he doesn't even with five. He could try and command point the two if he wanted to. No. no. So that unit now can't, it's going to be minus one to hit, so pretty much can't hit in combat, and it's pretty much going to be knackered in shooting, but it also means I can't overwatch fire my lord, my actual pitch out when he rolls. Okay, so the Argus scanner, or the uh, Olga, or whatever we want to call it, the bombardment that I get for simply having my uh, bastion in Bunker Assault, that's going to land there. Now Grange is allowed to roll a d6, and is allowed to move it that many inches, and anything within three inch. It's a five. So he's going to be able to move this five inches in any direction he wishes. Uh, bear in mind though, anything that lands within three inch, anything that it lands within three inch on, is going to suffer, well, on three plus it suffers D3 mortal wounds. So he's basically putting it straight into that unit because he knows it's going to at least clip one. Do Does it hurt it? Yes. And how much damage does it do? 
three, so three mortal wounds off that unit. Uh, and Grange, you're going to do your command for Gremlin Curse, which we've already declared. Yep. He's going to do that on this particular bunker, so this bunker can only hit on six of its automated defences. Swine. Yep. Uh, and he's already rolled to see if he gets his command point back, and he does, so we've not... I can't <laughs> no, give them away yeah, from... <laughs> Can't give them no, away. No, he doesn't seem to be able to use them. Uh, use a lot of them. Uh, right, okay, let's see what tune it's next. Oh, yes, Manticore versus the artillery piece, because I hate those artillery pieces. Jink. 2d6 shots. <laughs> uh, not re really rolling. Two shots in fours. Oh, oh. Um, Strength. Toughness, sorry. Seven. Seven. So I'm going to need threes. One. It's a minus two. So five ups. Five up. No, it D3 Ooh, damage. Yeah. One. It's only one. Oh, I'm <laughs> Right, okay. So yeah, that, that was fantastic. Last cannon at the following Manticore across from me. I'm gonna need fives. No, that's not hit. Okay, so I'm gonna use some command points. I'm gonna use uh, ammo store on this bunker. I'm also gonna repair it. Uh, three command points in total. That's gonna take this back up to 18. Uh, so that's only down by two. Because I've used three command points, Grange gets to try and uh, nick them. So and they're all from the same thing. So right. okay. All from my. Oh, not this time. No, it doesn't get any of them through. So V's going to re-roll there to hit. I'm going to fire uh, the rocket and everything else because uh, you measure from the bunker, and up to ten figures can fire. So all the guys inside are going to shoot at that chimera over there. So well, as guns then. Into the tank, it's going to be seven shots, need in fours, but I get to re-roll due to the strategy I've just played, which is a good thing because I've just missed with pretty much every single one except one. Uh, three hits, I'm going to need sixes. Not one. Plasma gun, go on overcharge, might as well. Missed. Yay, I've hit, so that's strength eight, so that's going to be freeze against the Chimera. Yep, it's going to be a minus three, so he's going to need six. No. No, two down. Finally, the crack rocket needing fours. Hits. Needs threes. Wounds, minus two. Think. Oh, bounces off. Do you want to come and point that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so veteran squad. Two of the plasmas can actually see the chimera. It is hauled down as we do it, and he is touching that terrain over there, so he is going to actually get a plus one to his save. I do need freeze though, because the vets. One hit. Yeah, Gonna on, need a free. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> uh, freeze to. Yep, that's a damage. So that's going to be a five or six this time. No, oh. another two points. Say hello, Ben. Hello, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> oh, generic. Okay, so we've got the infantry over here. Two mining lasers are in range of the. Damaged artillery piece. The rest of the guys are going to fire against the infantry in front of them. So I'm going to do the auto guns first. We're in rapid fire range, needing fours. That's, that's about five hits, so that's going to be another five, needing fours. Good shooting. Thanks, Grange. Thanks for confidence there. It does kill one, though. And then two mining lasers into that. These do need fives because they're heavy weapons and they're moved. Okay, so the bunker's going to open fire. That's going to open fire at the infantry that it can see just behind here, because he's got some guys out. Unfortunately, he's not going to get the plus one for his cover. Uh, but I do need fours to hit. Two. And I got two. And threes to wound. One. Minus one, though, so he's going to need a six. Here we go. No. Ah, no. And then the rocket from the squad inside is going to go against the artillery piece down there. Uh, I'm going to need fours to hit. So everything from the ballistic skill six to hit is going to fire at the Ogrins. So I'm going to do the heavy bolts first. That's twelve shots. Wow, I actually got more. Well, I got the same amount of hits with this one. I'm going to do the other one. Uh, toughness of Ogrins? Uh, five. Five. So I'm going to need fours, and that's two wounds with a minus one. But they've got no shield, so I'm guessing they're four plus and vulnerable. They are indeed. One gets and through. One gets through. And then eight shots from the auto cannon on top. Again, needing sixes. I've got a hit. I need threes. I fail again. Damn me. Okay, so charge phase. We're going to actually charge this patriarch into the Lehman Russ Executioner, which can't fire because he's 
mass hypnotised. I'm hypnotised the tank. Oh look, I'm in. Right, okay, so we've got the near fights up this side. They're going to be charging across into the guard's gun in front of them. Uh, Granger's rolled for his grenade. He's adding four to the amount of las guns because it's the same profile. Needing sixes when it gets out of his sticky hands. I'm actually wonder what he's been doing to create sticky hands. Oh. That's one wound. And one down. And do you want to fire your plasma? Yep, not overcharging. Not overcharging, but we're in rapid fire range. Nothing. Nothing, and we did roll earlier. He's got five shots with his missile launcher. I've said it. <laughs> missile for me. One hit. Oh, damn it. Freeze the wound. Ooh, no wound. No wound. Right, what do I get? You get in. Seven. I mean. Okay, so we're going to go with these guys first. They're bowled in there. That's going to be a total of eight attacks. I'm just going to roll them down this side because it's going to be easier. Because I'm not butting into Grange. And I need fours to hit. And I need fours to wound. Only two. All your saves. Oh, two yeah. saves. Jesus. Ah, Emperor protects. Right, so, Grange. Can I interrupt? Yeah. Ah. I thought so. so, two command points down. Yeah, you're going to try and. Well, we'll roll to see if you get them back first before changing the dice. We'll have okay, to go back we'll and change the dice back. back. Hey! No, no, no. You can do that again in future, actually. Change it over first. That seems to be a pattern. So, a commissar is going to go against this guy first. Three attacks in twos. Roll that one again. Needs falls. Oh, no. Sweet Jesus. It's lame. So six attacks from the Patriarch into this gimped, really <laughs> devastated, limbless battle tank. That's hypnotized at this moment in time. Two's to hit. Oh, fucking three wounds. Where come on, fight this from? I can yeah, do with some back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Um, right, no, so my strength is six. I'm going to need fives. I've got one five. That six is minus six. So you're not going to be able to get a save against that one. The five is a minus three. So you do get a save of a six against these, and these cause D3 damage apiece. No. no. So, so that. Two dice need with D3 damage each. Now you see, this is where I'm like, right. Okay, yeah, now our command point. So I'm going to use my command point. <sighs> okay, right, doing the pick a unit, I'm going to go with my Patriarch. He's going to uh, need twos to hit, four attacks. Yeah. And he's going to need twos to wound with his toxin injector. Ooh, four wounds. So four saves of five. That's oh. an ex commissar. Commissar's down. He's dead. He's dead, Dave. He's dead. Uh, and pretty much he's going to can't, can't run away. <laughs> With three wounds remaining. I think I'll be towards the closest you. Yeah. Oh shit, there's no there. <laughs> I'm thinking, it's Ben. He's putting me off. He's saying 7th edition rules. You know, wow. can't consolidate that to destroy vehicles. Oh, yeah. All right, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you crazy fish. <laughs> right. Uh, morale, if there is any. Uh, probably going to be, yeah, that particular unit lost three guys. Now we're not okay on a six. There's no morale to take over there. I did think I didn't suffer. attack back, did I? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> You've also not attacked back with Liam Russell, can't because he's hypnotised. Yeah, because it's minus one, so it's going to be sixes to hit. Okay, so we're having attacks from the guard. Can't we all that clinking one? Not too bad, not too bad. And then, and then three, three wounds. Ones. So three saves of five needed. No. One. It's a spectacular, one. And spectacular one. collection of wounds. <laughs> Damn it! Let me roll my morale then now, because if I get a six, I'll lose another guy. No, so they're okay. Okay, so that's the end of that assault phase. Not a lot happening, really, my guys wise. I can't believe I didn't destroy that Lehman Russ. But these bunkers are still quite strong. 18 wounds left on this one, and 20 wounds left on this one. And this one, of course, is a 2 plus armor save due to it being fortified. Uh, so we'll let Grange do his movement, and then we'll come back to uh, Grange's turn two. Okay, so after Grange's movement phase, his Ogrens are moving up here a little bit. Uh, his Lehman Russ has caught a fawn out of combat with that uh, Patriarch, not surprising. 
Uh, Chimera's moved back out of range of some of these uh, lovely guns. And then some of the lads over here have moved forward. Not much in the way of progression. Um, it does get benefits if he attacks the actual bunkers in close combat. But it is taking him a while because of the amount of units that... Uh, Landed in my deployment yeah, zone. just seem to be coming at him to try and slow him down. To be honest, it seems to be a good arm. Gene Steel Gold seems to be a very good army to be able to defend because you can split your army. Half of which can be your defenders, and the other half can be an assault force. Not essentially designed to kill anything, just designed to annoy. <laughs> so. Let the irritation commence! <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you shooting first, then, Grange? Right, we'll go straight on to the orders. We won't actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do we're a psychic, psychic phase. phase. Yeah, we keep forgetting those. Yeah. Yeah, great. So, what I'm going to start with is this chap here. Yeah. I'm going to smite him. Oh, That's really? Really? All right then. Go so, on then. Let's have it. Well, it's a seven. Seven is a psycho himself, so we can try and deny it on eight. Yeah, he's like, he's like, you right now. just go away, yeah. little man child. <laughs> and he is going to smite him. I, I thought he would. I thought he'd smite him. But he now needs a six. No. And he rolls a four. Do you want to come and point that? No. No, 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 no I'll do it the old-fashioned way by hitting him with a force. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Star Wars. Now we'll go into our orders phase. Okay. So first of all, yep. first order onto him. Yeah. Is going to be take him. Yeah. Onto the bunker. Oh, there we go. Now he's starting to actually get it. He's starting to shoot some bunkers. That's a one hit. One so hit. Take uh, sorry, two hits so far. Take him. Yeah, needing fours. I'm going to come and point that one. Oh, he needs it, he needs it. No. No, it's a two hits. I need a five or six to be able to stop these from getting through. No, they've actually gone through. So 2d6 worth of damage on that bunker. Ah, we'll ignore that one. Okay. Because <laughs> that was a thrown dice, not a rolled dice. Four. four. He could have used his command points then to try and nullify that. But never mind, that's going to protect this down to 14 wounds. And uh, then pick another unit. Rocket. Okay, crap rocket then. Into the bunker. Uh, no, no, you decided to use your order to bring it down. Reroll ones to wound. So the plasma will do so the same. So the plasma's doing the same. I know. And no, and he didn't overcharge no, the plasma. I didn't. Because he knew he was going to roll the one. Yes, a fine collection of them. <laughs> okay, so 13 shots he's just rolled. He's going to fire take aim with the order into the uh, near fights. I think these are going to suffer some damage. Uh, Force to hit. That's not cracking. I'm glad I rolled all of these. Yep, because of take aim and you're Canadian, as we keep saying. <laughs> I don't think Granger will ever back down. There we go. Oh, painful. Freeze to wound. One, two, three, four, six. Six. Mm -hmm. Six saves. Ah, none of them. Six dead. Yeah, there's not even that many left. Oh, thank you, Grange. <laughs> thank you for passing me my four toys back. Now we're going to fire into the... Uh... Unit so the barricades. fire into the unit behind the barricades. He's doing take aim again. So how many shots? How many shots? Jesus. Four. So 14 shots, needing fours to hit with re-rolls. It's taking the units out of the game. Do it, yeah. Freeze to wound. Right, they're gone. That's gone. Sorry, four to hit, that was a re-rolls, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, freeze to wound. So, one, two, three, four, five wounds. Five wounds. Five saves of four plus for being behind the barricade. Oh, I only lose one. Okay, so the mortars, they're going to be going against the veterans as well. 3d6 shots. <sighs> Disappointing. Lovely. Any command points? Uh, no, 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 no. I think you've already used one. Yeah. Oh, sticky hands. Did you give them an order? No, no. no. So these are just rerolling the ones? Yeah, yeah. Still four hits though, Grant. Uh, we're going to need three. Threes. Two wounds. And two wounds. Two saves of four plus. Another one bites okay, the Okay, so this unit's going to fire into the bunker. That unit firing into the bunker. One last gun. Last gun first. Hits. Hey, you need that to wound. No. No. Uh, plasma will fire. Hit you overcharging? Uh, no. No, okay. Hits. Yep. 
Was it moved? No, no. And then I did move, move so the missile right. launch house against building, so it's not a negative. Yeah, so it's just straightforward four. four. No. No. Right then. So. Okay, so rocket launcher from there over into the building. He did move, but no negative modifiers. It was hit, hit. anyway. It does need a five to wound. No. no. Okay, heavy bolt remotely laser from his chimera. They're going to go into the veterans. Veterans taking a hit this turn. Needing fives. This is the multi laser. Yeah, because he's moved. One uh, hit. I have moved, so nothing there. And it is wounding on a two, though, with the multi laser. Wound. And forced to save. Saved. Heavy, heavy bolter. bolter. Nothing. No, nothing hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, I should be saying thank you, but it's probably like, oh no, we're not buddies from the whatever detachment. Red them. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Missile launcher into the bunker. Yep. Uh, plasma. I'm going to just measure to find out which is my closest character. Uh, so yeah. Go into okay, the... so, yep. Plasma into the uh, <laughs> Primus, because he is actually the closest. Mm. And yeah. then any available LAS guns will be going into this fella. Okay. Oh, yes, because it's two be... characters. That's absolutely within range. This is the new rules regarding character. So, um, 12, so that's three LAS guns. Three LAS guns firing into that there. Two hits. Two hits. Yeah, it's toughness of five. No more. No more. So so plasma not overcharging. In, up into the Primus. So good job he didn't. Did he stay still? No, no he didn't. No, actually. Shifted, Ooh, and the didn't. missile launcher did stay still. Yeah. He's going to fire into the bunker. Which he didn't need to because he doesn't have a man on this, but uh, it's a hit. And not wound. Good. Doesn't wound the bunker still. And then, plasma pistol. Yep. Going to fire into the uh, him. Well, that again. That's, that's <laughs> the ultimate kick. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's a miss, yeah, because the captain hit, only hit on three plus. And then the last, last pistol. Yep, yeah. yeah. and he hits on threes. Yeah. Hits. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. That patriarch back in his lines is really going to become very threatening. So okay, so infantry squad at that side. The missile launch is going to try where everyone else has failed into these guys. He's going to throw a grenade. He's going to throw a grenade. Crack, oh, he hasn't got crack. No, just a frag. Just a frag. So, so it's a frag grenade. Gonna an extra five shots. So we're going to add that to the amount of last guns shooting, which I believe they're all in rapid fire range. Yep, so that'll be another four shots. Another four shots. Oof. That's pretty good. And five to wound. Nada. Nothing. Overcharge plasma, did you say? Um, oh God, I'm feeling frisky. Let's go for an overcharge plasma. Overcharge plasma. plasma. One hit. One hit. Need threes. Get wounded. Get wounded. Need a five to save. Uh, lightning reflexes. Oh, what about range? <laughs> Don't start dabbing. And then rocket. Too old to dab. Exactly. It's far too old to dab. <laughs> Have a word for yourself. <laughs> now the missile launcher yeah. into the bunker. Said word missile again. Oh, he's hit. hit. We've not. Oh, every missile impacting upon the, these blue bunkers. Nothing seems to be going through. Right, two heavy flamers into him, and the stubber into this fella. I thought he would as well. Heavy flamers. Yeah, two d6 auto hits over his units. Eight. Eight. In the seventh edition, you couldn't have done that without burning everybody underneath. But there we go. Uh, now these are heavy, so we're going to need fours. This is five. Oh, this is going to be. That many wounds. That's five. Four, five. Five to save. Because even with it being a four, he's going to suffer five wounds. Now he's got tenacious survivors as his warlord trait, so I can ignore wounds on a six. No, he suffers four. Which one? Four he? left. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Right, so the Inquisitor is going to bolt pistol him in the face. I'm guessing he's a Xenos Inquisitor. I did put him never... Xenos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was going to say we never declared I picked, it. I just picked the Xenos, so I didn't actually read the rules because I have to do it on Battlescribe, otherwise it comes up and shouts at me. <laughs> so <laughs> I just picked Xenos. Does that mean actually I, I just thought it was Reroll ones. Reroll ones. Reroll oh, ones right. against uh, my guys. Well, he's hit anyway. He's hit anyway, needs a free. That's a wound. He's wounded, I need a five to save. No. So, Manticore's now firing. The Heavy Bolt is going to try and finish off this Primus. And the Manticore's going to go against uh, this guy here. 
I should just remember that. So he's getting a plus one to his cover save because that we did count those as cover. I did indeed. Yeah. Go ahead, heavy boy. One hit. One hit. Rerolling once because uh, Canadian. Canadian. No. No. And then. Wounded. It is wounded. I do need a five because it should be four and then minus one. Yep, so he saved the heavy ball rounds. So, 2d6 shots against the bunker. You all that oh, one? one again. Yeah. Eight. That's eight shots. Okay, so eight shots. Five's to hit because he's gimped. Are we rolling ones? It's two ones. One. one hit. Needing freeze against the bunker. No, do you want to command point that or do you use one? I can't remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, probably use one. Uh, no, I don't. Right, any other shooting? I think that's me pretty much pretty done. Much done for this phase. So we'll now be uh, moving on to combat. Anybody charging in? Uh, this fella is going to go wailing in. Okay. No hits from the needle pistol. Uh, I think he's going to be all right, to be honest with you. Yeah, if you want to go around to the other side, you can do. Yep, so he's him. And is that going to be the only combat you're going to be doing this turn? Um, you know what? I'm going to go overkill, and I'm going to throw the Ogrins in at the same time. <laughs> go on, then. So, Ogrin charge. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely in. I suppose it does mean that they get an extra 3-inch movement as well. Because uh, even if he kills him with the Inquisitor, he'll be able to then use the Ogrins as a... Select the Ogrins and they consolidate an extra three inch. So, right, okay. So he's going to go with the Ogrins first. Uh, he's already counted up how many attacks he needs. And he needs threes to hit. Doesn't be roll ones for Cadians, because, you know, that doesn't happen this time, does it? And his strength is... Uh, seven. So you need twos. And what's the minus? Uh, just minus one for the moles. <laughs> and I think they're two damage a piece. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I know what? I'm just going to pick up this bucket of dice here and roll about three or four of them. Oh, look, I've failed. <laughs> so he's dead. So we've smushed him. We've smushed him. Right, so end of turn two. Patriarch's gone. I've got no offensive capabilities down that particular side. So he's now going to be able to start to concentrate on these bunkers. This bunker's down to 14 wounds. I'm going to have to rely upon my guard element to try and uh, repel these invaders. Uh, so I'm going to come back after actually my movement upon turn three. Right, okay, so uh, Granger's used a command point, managed to roll it back. So he's still got three of the strong point ones for Gremlin Curse. I'm going to have to start using uh, a lot of my normal command points to be able to, because I've only got five command points left, I've used all three of my strong point ones uh, to try and to sort of boost some of these units. This hitting on six is hindering me quite badly. Um, right, so first off, I'm just going to go with the last cannon. That's going to go straight again into the Manticore, needing fives. No, it's still missed. Okay, so using ammo store on these guys for two, they're going to open fire with their plasma guns, Laz. Uh, guns and of course the uh, missile launcher into this Ogden squad here. Okay, so six large guns, plasma guns in red, rockets in purple. I'm gonna fire a crap rocket into those to try and kill them. And the plasma will overload. I do get three roll hits on these, needing fours. Low risk. There we are, that's not so bad. So five and six is on the blue, freeze on everything else. Oh, Jesus Christ. One wound. Saved on his normal armor. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, okay, should have done the orders first, but uh, hey ho, never mind. Um, so these guys are going to fire three plasma guns, whatever last guns I've got left, into that chimera that suddenly decided to round the corner. So I'm using take aim to reroll the ones. The plasma guns will overcharge, shooting into the hold down chimera. Plasma guns are in red. That's a lot of plasma guns miss. These do need freeze to hit because they're veterans. And then they need uh, threes on the red and sixes on the blue. So two plasma guns go through and so do one of the last guns. So last gun is going to be a two plus because he's in cover. And the plasmas are minus three but he's in cover so it's going to be fives. How many plasmas was it? Just two. Just the two. And that's two points of damage. Okay, so the heavy bolters from here are going to go against the Ogrins, and then the quad auto cannon 
is going to go against the Lehman Ross. But I do need sixes to hit because of Gremlin Curse. So I don't hit any of the uh, shots upon <laughs> the Ogrins. Um, eight shots now against the tank, needing sixes. And none. I'm having a terrible shooting phase, this one. That's bad. Okay, so the second bunker against the infantry down here. One that's nice and open in the open. Needing fours, because he doesn't have a gremlin curse. And needing threes. Oh, man. <laughs> How many ones? Oh, you're yep, passing this now. Minus one. Yep. <laughs> Uh, they did nothing. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, Grinch. I can see that. They, can they, see. Ne they kneeled that. They absolutely <laughs> kneeled it. Have we been learning from Gene Steele Cult? The, the Inqui Inquis Inquisitor over here might need to have a word with these guys because that's just uh, that's unnatural. That's unnatural. <laughs> so the infantry squad here is going to open fire on the infantry over there as well. Same ones I've just managed to miss completely. And then the rocket launcher is going to fire again into that artillery piece. So these are for the las guns and plasma gun. Plasma gun in red. Clear all that one. Needing fours. And to wound. So one normal wound, and the, las, the plasma gun has killed one of them. So you need a. F not that, not that, no. These. That's against these. These, right. So it's saved, but he has lost one due to the plasma gun. Now the rocket launcher firing at the artillery piece. It's a hit. Definitely a crack rocket freeze. It's a wound. Save. Oh, saved again. God damn it. And I've just realised that these four were actually in reserve, and it's now turn three. Didn't come onto the table. So according to the rules, if you're in reserve and you're not on the table, you are then dead at the end of turn three. Do I get a command point? Do I get a victory point? Yeah, you do, Grinch. Yeah. <laughs> you do. No, that's a victory point. Counts as a destroy unit. Oh. Okay, so the destroy tank hunter, which is not targeted any tanks because we can't see them, is going to target the infantry squad that's already suffered a wound. Three shots. And it needs force to hit. <laughs> right, now, I need twos. Here comes a flurry of ones. No, that's three dead. Yay, one's free. Oh, yeah, he's got to uh, think which ones to take out. So he's leaving the sergeant and the heavy weapon team. Okay, so I'm putting my artillery piece down here. Granger's rolled and got a four. So unfortunately, I'm not getting what I want. Uh, but he's going to move it. Right, a bit, pretty much. Uh, he's going to make sure I can only hit the tank. And hit the tank only. Nothing else, as you can see, is within range. So I need a three to hit it. Yep, and it's D3 mortal wounds. He's only got one, so it's, regardless, it's, it's dead. So it's been hit by the artillery piece. Uh, does it blow up, Grange? Please say yes. No. no. Can you grant that? <laughs> <laughs> right, finally, the Manticore is going to go against its counterpart, the Manticore. Third missile that I'm using. Oh, 12 shots. Oh, yes. Okay, 12 shots, needing fours. Only four hits, needing threes. Two. Okay, so he's got two wounds. He's in touching that terrain piece and he is in cover. So, technically, he's 50% obscured from this because I can't see him. Um, so, he's getting a plus one to his cover save. So, instead of fives, it's fours. This has been a disastrous shooting phase. This might be, unfortunately, the end of this particular uh, cult. It's not done very well at all. Uh, no assault phases, because I've got nobody I can assault. I'm not assaulting him. He's just going to be there to annoy you. Because <laughs> what can I really do with him? I can't really do anything. Um, so when we come back, we're going to come back after Granger's movement on his turn three. Okay, just before we go through the term, I did forget the morale. This particular unit has all the five, and they lost how many? That'd be two. Two models gone. Two models gone. Unless you command point it. Ooh. You know what? Why the devil not? Okay, do you get your command point back? I'm going to that one. No. No, so you lose a command point. But they're sticking around. But what you need to do, you six it. Hmm? You might roll a five or six still. Yeah, re roll your main dice, yeah. Four. So that would be is eight. So you're gonna lose one. Yeah. 
so no problem. Heavy weapon team still surviving. And then we'll come back properly uh, <laughs> after Grange has done his movement. Okay, so starting the psychic phase, we've got the um, li librarian. The Inquisitor is going to target the bunker because he actually can't see the Manticore, and the rules are nearest visible enemy unit. Yeah. So you're going to cast here. Nine. Yep, it's going to be D3 mortal wounds upon this bunker. Two. Two. That's going to knock that one down to 12. Right, okay, so Grange is using the stratagem. It's not, it's a psychic power. Oh, he's going to put psychic power and night shroud onto that unit. So it's either six. It's either six. Bob charge is 10. 10, we're good. So that's now I think, minus one to hit. Yeah, minus one belly to hit. Uh, so it's probably going to machine curse me next turn. <laughs> yeah, man, I can't hit him. Lovely. The Bastion. Okay, so take him from the last cannon team into the Bastion. Uh, three shots needing fours. He gets to re roll because of take him. In fact, he didn't even need take him to re roll him. Ooh, this is going to hurt. Um, yeah, he's going to need fours because of a toughness nine. I'm so going to command point. No. That's oh. nice. Do you get the command point back? Oh, that oh, this is for the command point? Yep. No. no. So does we it... are down to four. No problem. And does it damage? Well, no, this is to see if we hit. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We do. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it is no, damage. No, it is the damage. I'm, damage. Say it's I'm, damage. I'm glad so you're three, off Three damages. Okay, so three damages on those. I did forget to actually put a... Uh, uh, <laughs> to state what happened. This unit getting out of there. During the movement phase, uh, two units of flames advancing forward, and of course, this unit of Ogrins with the Inquisitor and everything else. Apologies for not actually stating that. We're getting too excited. Well, Grange is getting too excited because I'm rolling crap. So, <laughs> what was that? A dancing jig? Yay! Um, so, I need uh, fives. So, I'll stop one of them. So, that's 2d6. So, you can't destroy it with this round. It nine. Nine. So you're going to now use a stratagem overlapping fields of fire. Now he's done damage to that particular unit to get plus one to everything else that's going to target that bunker. That's also the one with my uh, artillery piece in. So, so, that, this is... so that is two, uh, two command points, and I'm going to see if I can get them back. Yep. And then you get one, of, get them one of them back. So that takes me down to three. So he's got three command points left, and he's also, I believe, he's still got three command points left on the strong point one. Yes. Okay, so take aim on the infantry squad issued by the captain. Oh, actually, I'm going to revise that. Okay. It's going to be re roll it, it's going to be bring it down, so it'll be re rolling ones. Ah, ones to wound, that's a brilliant idea, because you're plusing one to hit, so you're hitting on threes if you target that bunker. So I'll just. Yeah, so the plasma's in range, yeah. the missile launcher is, and I don't think anything else has got a bead on anything. You could shoot that. It does have a toughness of seven, three plus armor. Well, I'm feeling lucky. It is Lars Guns the greatest weapon in the in, in the 40k world universe. Doing yours are doing quite well, I'll be honest right. with you, but there so, we go. One last gun. Yep. Hits. Yep. Doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Guys, have okay. moved, so I'm not going to be overcharging. Right, no problem. Single shot from the plasma. Hit on a four. Hit on a four. It needs a five. It's it does. Uh, two plus armor because of the stratagem earlier, so I'm going to need a five. No, that's no. another point of damage off this. Same target. Crack rocket, same target, yep. Hits. Hits. Oh, it bounces off. Doesn't wound. Mm, and I, and I use your command points. points. So, you can't so next orders. Next orders. We're going to be using. So, Vox used by Captain down that side. He's going to order this particular unit to take aim at this bunker. Uh, this unit did move, but of course, heavy weapons don't get a minus one when targets in a bunker. So, plasma gun to start with, you say? Dynamo. Oh, they didn't move? Dynamo. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, the plasma so, gun to start with, one yeah. shot. Is it overcharging? Oh, no. Oh, no, so it missed, but uh, it's take aim, so it gets a reroll. No. No. And then the rocket yep. launcher. Okay, now saying rocket. Yeah, it's a hit. No. Oh, it bounces off again. These bunkers are becoming incredibly tough. This one goes down onto two wounds. It's about to die, to be honest. Uh, next order. Yep. Onto the, th onto the, I'm going to call it a thud, yeah. Well, thud technically, it's a, it's a thud, thud gun. gun. Yeah. Thud gun. <laughs> so. Quad launcher. Yep. And it's going to be, 
another thing that I just need to check the ring. I think I need to reboot Grange on that. Okay, so he's going to take him from that uh, quad gun into this bunker. He's got 15 shots. Rolling to hit, needing fours. Not that good. But re rolling. But he gets to re roll. Oh, oh, yep, oh, that's again. a drop. Yeah, that's fine. So that's a lot better. That's that. Right, five to wound. And that's four. Bones. So, four saves, needing threes. Two wounds on this one. Oh, it's down okay, so I rinse and repeat. The second quad is actually uh, firing at this, and he's only managed to roll an eight uh, attacks on that one there. And he's ready. Fours to hit, and then re rolls. Although it seems to be hitting a lot more than it does at the front, does it? Uh, Ooh, seven. seven. Five and sixes. Ooh, that's another three wounds. Three wounds. Threes to save. Another one, so it's down to 70. Yeah, right, rocket launcher from Matt is going to go into this one, see if he can finish it off from its two wounds left. Is that an order as well? Or uh, no, no, these are just, just yep. a normal shot. Sixes, hit. we've hit. We it haven't wounded. Doesn't wound, so he's still wounded. All right, uh, so we fired. So we're going to use this lone, lone missile team. Lone missile team. Into that bunker. Into the bunker after the uh, morale is on his own. Yep, it's a hit. No, no, no. bounces off. Right. Bounces off. This missile team. Yep. Into the bunker. Same bunker again. Here Same we go. Bunker again. Uh, yeah, it's a hit. Four. <laughs> and and no four. Wounds. No wounds on that one there. Water team's firing at the bunker as well. Uh, 3d6 shots. Nine shots. Nine shots. Fours to hit, re-rolling ones. Now these are going to need if, sixes. If I, if I get that roll again, yeah. I'll if you get that roll happy. again, I would, I'd, I'd be very happy as well, to be honest. Two more. Two more. Ah, two saves. Ah. Six and a four. So three flamers from the advanced uh, unit. So his last gun's not going to be able to fire, but the flamer is an assault weapon. Um, so that's going to be 3d6 auto hits. 12. And uh, I'm also going to spend a command point, by the way, so if you want to try and steal it, I'm going to use take cover to plus one to my actual save. Okay, I'll see if I'll steal see that. You steal that? Yes, I do. Yes, he does. <laughs> Your command points go up by one. So I'm back up to four. Oh, well. I suppose it's hopefully to be able to save this unit. Uh, so 12 automatic hits. He's going to need freeze, which is the four from the flamer. Oh, that's bad. Right, okay, so that's 11 wounds, I'm behind a barricade, and it's uh, I'm taking cover, so I'm actually on freeze to save. Like a space marine, I lost two. Same again with the other squad. So... <laughs> 16. 16 automatic hits. No, 17. Sorry, correction, 17. No, that extra one is going to make all the difference. Of course it is, I told you I'm not an accountant. So 17 automatic hits, needing freeze. Painful. Another 10, needing this glorious freeze. One, two, three, three, that's four, five. Five of them down. That's the rest of the squad dead. Okay, so two heavy flamers on into the icon ward. Uh, <laughs> yeah, auto hits. Oh, nine. nine. Needing freeze. Seven. Seven. Uh, seven saves a six because it's a plus one for being in cover and minus one for the heavy flamer. And he suffers four wounds, he's dead. Okay, okay so multi laser and heavy bolter from the uh, Chimera is going into this guy. He's not moved, and of course, he's got. Uh, he's, well, it's that one where you can. Uh, yeah, I've forgotten what it's called. It's a stratagem, isn't it? Oh yes, I'm going to yeah, be yeah, yeah. Uh, hitting on threes, freeze. basically. So, heavy, uh, last, uh, ultra laser to start with. <laughs> Big wind, yeah. Uh, all hit. All hit. He needs fives and sixes. Two. Two wounds. I do need freeze to save. I lost another one. I'm down to one wound. Oh no. No, no you're not. No, no you're one not. One twos. It's, it's 45 ones. Yes, it's 45. I think the one that's on 18, so I'm fine. Go ahead. And then heavy bolter. One, two hits. 
Two hits. And again, needing fives with a minus one. Forget that one. I didn't like that dice anyway. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. That was close. Right, and then very close. to f to finish off. I'm going to, oh, actually no. What main just snipers? Right, okay, so his veteran was his command squad. Yeah. All the snipers are going to fire into this bunker. Uh, Hitting. All three hit. Need sixes to wound, but need sixes cause a mortal wound in addition. So you got one. One so six. One six. So I get a three plus armor save as well from the normal hit. I'll roll that again. <laughs> so that's a save, but I do take a wound from the snipe. So Granger's Manticore, his third missile is going to go into the bunker. It is gimped a little bit, so it does need fives, but of course, with the uh, stratagem, he's going to need fours. 2d6 shots. Nine. Nine. Your missiles seem to be a hell of a lot more loaded with clusters than what mine are. <laughs> maybe, <I'm laughs> maybe maybe, it's the way, of course, mine is set out and yours is concentrated higher from that's the top. I think that's what it is. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. To need fours. Can you be all any ones? No ones. But they have it. But all of them have hit. This is going to be a uh, strength of ten, so you're going to need threes. Oh man, it costs pretty good at bunk busting the bunkers. No, it's not. <laughs> three. <laughs> It's still three wounds. Still, still three wounds. wounds. Okay, so it's a minus two to a Manticore missile. And I'm on a two plus, so I need fours. <sighs> There's no point even command point in that. It's gone. Okay, so the bunkers do explode. We rolled for it. I didn't actually explode, but I'm dropping dice myself. Uh, in another one. I've got ten guys on the inside. Any ones are going to kill them. First dice I've dropped down there as a one. So that's two dead. Okay, so the bunker's gone, the infantry has got out. Hopefully, be able to annihilate some of those guys, preferably. Uh, only one bunker left. It's not looking good for the cult. I've not got that many units left compared to all these guardsmen. I did have a terrible turn. So we're going to go into my turn four, and we're going to see what the situation's like at the end of my turn four, to see whether or not it's actually worth continuing with the game. We'll be back after our movement. Okay, so a little bit of rejigging of a squad, and uh, not much to go on. The captain is kind of going to sacrifice himself by the looks of this. I'm going to brought him over because he can see them chuffers down there, which I should have done earlier on, to be honest, but never mind. Uh, right, so I'm going to pick a unit and start Okay, shooting. so this bunker is about to shoot on that infantry squad. Unfortunately, Grange has just, <laughs> just gremlined the unit. So I'm hitting on sixes with the 12 heavy bolters. Oh, that's not too bad. Three hits, I suppose. And two wounds with a minus one. Okay. Yeah, two wrong. Now, the last kind of cousin, not where a guy within an inch of it has to target the nearest enemy unit, which is these guys. So it's going to hit on a five. No. no. Okay, uh, this one at the. Uh, yeah, those guys down there. D3 shots. Two. Needing fives because I moved. Oh, oh, two hits. I suppose it is a destroyer tank hunter. He's used to sniping. Um, strength nine, so I'm going to need threes. One wound, and it's minus three. So sixes? Sixes. No. No, and it's deep two. Are you a vehicle? No. So D6 damage, it's not a vehicle. Six. So that's gone. Does it explode? It can. Oh, right. It's not, it's not going too far. Okay, so Captain's now going to chuck a grenade. I'm also going to throw it into the injured unit. Chink. Three shots. So he's going to need threes. Ooh. Ooh. And he's going to need fours. Ah, you see, that's that's more like it. Oh, <laughs> Just one. Just one. And he's gone. And he's gone. gone. So there's no... Uh, Lost three, and their leadership's only six because I don't actually have a um, captain's with them. Right, I forgot to do the orders, but we normally go back anyway and do yeah, them. So this one is going to be uh, a take aim, take aim at those. Okay, so four last guns within rapid fire range, needing fours, re rolling ones. Not bad, not bad. Toughness five versus strength three, so of course it needs fives. And we've got one. All to save. Okay, so it's actually a four up on those, so he's taken a wound. He's got two. Oh, two. And then it's up one, so yeah, so he's down to one. And then the overcharged 
Ah. Yeah, overcharged plasma. This is going to shoot into them. Ah, missed. Crack rocket. Yay! Yay! Four oh, and ball. Oh. Roll again. <laughs> oh. Yay! Unfortunately, I do D6 damage and there's still one with one wound left. That's him gone. Oh. Frag grenade from the captain into the Ogrins. That's not there anymore. D6 shots. Five. Five attacks need threes. And fives to wound. Oh, I got a wound. Four up save. No, okay, so the squad on top can see the remainder of them three down there. So I'm going to fire the last guns first. That's three hits. I need fours. That's one wound. No, it isn't. And it's safe. Plasma gun. It hits. And he murderizes. D6 shots from the rocket. Five. Got five in my hand. Fours to hit. Ooh. Threes to wound. Two wounds, two five up saves. No. No, that's a unit gone. Okay, so I've got a manticore that fire. He's got a heavy bolter, which is, you can see those guys. So that's going to be three shots needing fours. One. Needing fours. Yep, that's a wound. Four plus invulnerable on the, on the uh, Ogrins there, Grange. No. No, I need to take a wound. And the last Manticore missile is going to again try in vain to wipe out that thing. Which thing? The Manticore. Oh, Manticore. Four, yeah, the old Manticore. Six shots. Do you know what? I'll command point that. Seven shots. See if I steal that command yeah. point. No. No, thank God. Seven shots on the Manticore, needing fours to hit. Oh, for God's sake. Three. Freeze to wound. Oh, Jog on. <laughs> <laughs> See if I save. No. Oh, thank God for that. Right. D3. Oh, maybe. Oh, I did. Three. Yeah, there we go. So now it's two. Oh, it's not dead. It's I not need dead. to die. Damn it. It's not dead. Right. Let's go to our assault phase. See what happens. And then we'll take it. Okay. So starting off with the suicide. <laughs> this guy's going to charge into the flamers. Uh, free flamer automatic three, 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 three flamers yeah, to yeah. start with for only nine, nine hits. only nine automatic hits only nine. wow only nine only nine and it's only caused four wounds four wounds I'll double check yeah. company commander's got four wounds so it's a grenade plus two rapid fire well that's guns go on a grenade so three, three extra shots, shots. So we're going to roll those at the same time because it's the same so profile. So sixes, just a one. Just a one. And a wound. Oh. Five to save. Oh, it's tense. Oh. It's dead. Damn you. Okay, so the captain and his unit are going to actually charge the Ogrins. I'm going to charge the Ogrins simply because if I don't, they're going to charge me. So captain first. Yeah, he's definitely in there. And the other unit. Yeah, they're both in. No overwatch, because of course they've got no weapon. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Guard Infantry Squad first. All in, because of a large base that the heavy weapon teams tend to be on. So that's going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 attacks. 11 attacks mean falls. Oh, what is up with my dice here? 3 hits. Need 5s. 1 wound. 1 save of 4. You let me go with my captain, or are you going to uh, interrupt? What, what's he packing? A uh, power sword, which is not really going to affect it because it's forced to save anyway. Go on, I'll save my command right. points for... Three attacks, needing threes, that's two, and need fives. Oh, he gets a wound. Four up in vulnerable. Yeah. Saved. <sighs> okay, so it's going to be four, five, six, seven attacks back, needing threes with the Bulgrins. Are you just going all against the guards? All or... against the guards, what mate? Uh, no problem. That's a lot of hits. And you need twos. And what's the minus on these? Minus one, pal. Alright, right, okay, so that's what? Five, six? Yep. Yeah. Oh, they're taking another five down. 
So that's what it looks like after that particular combat. I've <laughs> lost five guys out of that squad myself. I've lost my captain. I don't have a lot left. I've got a manticore with no weapons left, effectively, apart from a heavy bolter. So just a morale on those. Five. That's ten. Uh, Do you know what? Yeah, they're all dead, Dave. They're all dead. So after looking at the points, uh, I'm currently on four. <laughs> Grange is on 14, and I'm on six. The army that's arranged against me is it's gonna, it's gonna murder him. I've got no more missiles left on the Manticore. They're dead. Um, it's not looking great. Uh, we've decided, I'll be honest, to call it there. Yeah, uh, I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna sulk away back into the shadows. None of the Gene Steel section of my army survived. They did, don't get me wrong, they did hold him up on that turn one, which is what I wanted. But at the end of turn, I think it was my turn three, and I was hit nothing. No. I absolutely shot nothing, hit nothing, and then Grange just did a boatload of damage. Uh, these guys had finally come out and annihilated my veterans, which had been holding the center. Uh, there was nothing much I could do. Um, yeah, it's basically end game there. 14 points to 6. Pretty much of an arse whooping. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button if you're wanting to see more of this. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, I should be able to get some videos up on a weekly, regular basis. Not quite sure what day yet. But I've got more in the pipeline. And uh, we'll see you again soon.